everybody, welcome back to The Way of Ramen. So today I'm gonna show you my current go-to weeknight ramen. For those days, I just don't have anything prepped and my family needs dinner. This is something that can be put together very quickly, but also requires you have some things on hand. So some kind of shoyu tare, chiyu, and some Chinese chicken stock powder. Chiyu, by the way, is just schmaltz, so you can buy it from your local butcher or on Amazon. But for people that don't have easy access to that, you can also render it out yourself. So I'm gonna do that right now and show you how to do it. So I have a pot of water here and I have my block of frozen chicken skin. I'm just gonna put the chicken skin into the water and then heat this up. And once the chicken skin softens a little, I'm gonna just use a ladle to break it apart so the fat can render out of the skin a little bit more easily. And then once it looks like this, I'm just gonna keep this at a constant heat, making sure not to let the water come to a boil, just like I'm making a chintan soup. And after a while, it should look like this. There's always a little bit of scum that comes out first, so I usually like to skim off the scum before extracting the chicken fat. And once you get most of the scum out of there, it's gonna look something like this, which is a nice clean layer of chicken fat at the top of the pot. And so from here on, I just take a ladle, the tiniest ladle, or one of the tiniest ladles I have, and just slowly skim off the fat and then put that into another container. This is pretty tedious, not gonna lie, but if you have one of those fat separators, you can just get them on Amazon. This gets a lot faster because you don't have to be as careful as I have to be right now. I should order one of those actually. But that's basically it. This is all you do until all the fat is rendered out of the chicken skin and you have as much chiyu as you can possibly get out of it. There are some other methods like frying the skin, but I find that when you fry it, it kind of gives it a little bit of a burnt taste. And this method, to me at least so far, of all the ones that I've tried, produces the cleanest tasting chiyu for ramen. So that's why I do it like this, even if it takes a lot longer to do it this way. So that's basically all there is to it, and after an hour and a half of this, you have this nice golden yellow chicken fat, which can be used to elevate pretty much any bowl of ramen that you want to use it for. But this is a weeknight ramen video, so that's what I'm going to show you how to do right now. So into a bowl, I put about a teaspoon of Chinese chicken stock powder, 20 milliliters or so of shoyu tare. This is the simple shoyu tare on the channel. 20 milliliters of chiyu. This is often frozen. I'm taking it out of the freezer. And then 300 milliliters of boiling hot water. I'm just going to pour 300 milliliters straight into the bowl. And that's gonna make the soup. And I forgot to mention, you probably want your noodles to be cooking before you pour the hot water into the bowl because that's your soup and you don't want your soup to get too cold while you're waiting for the noodles to cook. So once the noodles are done, you strain them well and then add them to the hot soup. And then you can pretty much top with any kind of topping that you want or that you have on hand. And that's it. A shoyu ramen that can be put together really quick. And to be honest, if you're not a real ramen nerd, you probably can't tell the difference between this and a ramen with the chintan soup that took six or seven hours to make. Sometimes I'll make this and my wife will ask me, well, what did you put in the soup? And I just have to laugh and say it's the Likum Ki special. Of course, it's not gonna be as good as a chintan stock that you spent six or seven hours meticulously simmering on the stove, but for what it is and how quickly you can put it together, especially if you have the ingredients prepped beforehand, like the tare's made, the chi is made already, it's pretty good. The chi will last in the fridge for a couple days and then you can store it in the freezer for like a couple months. So you always have some on hand if you do this. And of course you can all swap for lard or some duck fat. Basically any kind of animal fat should work. I've never tried beef tallow yet though. But anyways, please leave in the comments what your go-to weeknight ramen is. I'm always curious to see what you guys are doing. And as always, thank you so much for watching the video, for all the support. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.